guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. Today I have a very special guest. I have John Bain, aka otherwise known as Total Biscuit. Greetings. Yes. We're going to be making something, hopefully, delicious today, I would think. Yes, this has been requested so much by fans. They were like, please make biscuits with Total Biscuit. But we are going to make very geeky ones. We We're are. going to make Half Life. Mm. Biscuits. American biscuits as well. This is really going to confuse our UK audience because some people don't know biscuits in the US completely different to biscuits in the UK. Yeah, they Entirely are. different things. They are. In the UK, aren't they like cookies? They're basically cookies, yeah. I mean, we have The weird thing is we have cookies as well, but mm -hmm. that's usually like American imports like Oreos and we brand them as cookies. But then we have biscuits, which are the same thing because we love to confuse people. The things you will need today will be a sharp cutting knife, a pan, a paintbrush, a potato smasher, a whisk, a very fancy ruler, a cutting board, and a mixing cup. You will also need some Pam spray, flour, baking soda, baking powder, <laughs> as well as some sea salt, some three inch biscuit cutters, I'm gonna stay away from those, heavy whipping cream, cultured buttermilk, a large mixing bowl, and inside the mixing bowl you will find <laughs> some disgustingly pink Measuring awesome cups. Pink. His favorite color. Disgracefully <laughs> pink measuring cups, as well as some measuring spoons, tablespoon and teaspoon size. If they're not this pink, the whole thing won't work. Just making you aware of that. That is an essential part of the recipe. That is a fact. It's in the recipe. Yeah, that's science. You can't argue with science. You can't. Let's put this all together. Now we are going to add flour. John, if you will. I'm, yes, we're going to add four cups. I'm, I'm not sure if I can use this. It's just, <laughs> it's not my color, but I'll try. I'll make an attempt. So we need four cups of this stuff. All right. Yeah, four cups. Okay. And just put it in a big mixing bowl. First cup. Right in there. Excellent. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, it's totally fine. Inhale it. It's yeah. good for your nose. It's, it's not, not asbestos, it's we promise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second Don't one. It. That was a joke, kids. One more, one more. I am absolutely pro at this. There's no question. I like the shaking technique. Naturally, yeah. Just That's perfect. Shake it a little bit inside the bag so it doesn't go all over, and then dump it in. Now we're gonna do four teaspoons of baking powder, one tablespoon of baking powder. Wait, what did I just say? Baking powder. Baking powder. Ba baking powder. You've created a new and powerful weapon today. <laughs> the baking powder. One teaspoon of salt. Salt. Don't pour, don't do this over the bowl. This is the recipe for disaster. Unless you want it really salty. I wouldn't recommend that. There we go. There we go. That seems reasonable. Perfect. Now we're gonna whisk it all together. I have the power. Whisk that together. Oh, nice. I'll hold in the, the fog, the powder yes. fog. Don't inhale this. Don't inhale, hold your breath. That'll be good. Oh, there's, there's more whisking required. <laughs> the butter. How could I do that? I don't know. But you're going to need one and a half sticks, which is 12 tablespoons. And so we're just going to cut one of these in half and then cut these up into cubes and place them, sprinkle them on top of our flour bowl mixture. All right, you're just going to take these little cubes and make it rain butter. Make it rain and make it rain. And make it rain and make it rain. All right, now you're going to take your potato smasher or you can use a fork, but I would suggest this and smash away. Do we need violence? I can yeah. do that. Violence, violence, violence. Violence. Because <laughs> this is my violence. Slightly less violence. violence. <laughs> yeah. Last step, just pour in the buttercream. And it's really, really thick. It's like 2%, 2%, 2% though. It smells like cardiac arrest. <laughs> There you go. Mix it some more until it starts to feel like dough. And then we'll roll it out. Once your dough looks like this, it's time to roll it out. Only we're not going to use a rolling pin. We're going to use our hands. Just sprinkle some flour onto the table, a little light sprinkle. And then this is where I'm taking the ruler and we're going to roll the dough out to be about 10 inches by 10 inches. So it's not very big. Now you're just going to kind of flatten it with your hands. For dinner biscuits, you don't need to use a, a rolling pin. Now we're going to grease the pan, take your pan baking spray and just lightly coat it. Okay, I'm ready, go. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm ready. You don't I'm look ready. ready. I'm ready. <laughs> so funny. Did you get it? Get in the corners? 
Yeah, I think so. It's it's fine. It's, is it good? So, yeah, it's fine. Oh, wow, wow. Okay, now you're gonna take your biscuit cutter, and these are three inch. They come in different uh, sizes, but we're using the three inch. Just a reminder, and just press down. Give it a little jiggle, and it should pop out. Oh yeah. Except when it doesn't. And then put it on the tray. Perfect. Now, once you've got all your biscuits on the tray, we're gonna make the little half-life symbol out of the dough to go on top of them. Roll them out, put them diagonal, and then pinch the top and the bottom. These don't have to be perfect, just kinda eyeball it. It's a good job they don't have to be perfect. This is a failed science experiment. <laughs> this, this is- He kinda, he kinda looks like that. This is not going well. Oh no, John, it, you might have to. It's, what is it's, the... it's dead. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Everybody, here's how you make. <laughs> Life logo. This this came from Zen itself. <laughs> this is the total biscuit biscuit. The, We're gonna it's put falling it over to pieces. Here. Here's the total biscuit biscuit. That's not any Greek right letter that I know of. Once you got all of your Half-Life designs and TV designs on your biscuits. That was totally intentional, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Totally. I meant to do that. Yep. He did a great job. Please don't kill me, Gabe. Please. <laughs> now you're just going to take the paintbrush, dip it in a little bit of heavy whipping cream, and lightly coat the top of the biscuits. Once you're done painting the top of these biscuits, you're going to set your oven to 450, and you're going to put them in and bake for 12 minutes. Ta-da! We have finished our Half-Life Biscuits. Take a gander, and we even got TB's Total Biscuits. Wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the biscuits. This is actually terrible. <laughs> I... That's my favorite one out of all of them. It's the runt of the litter. Look at it. <laughs> it might be the runt of the litter, but it still kind of looks delicious. Yeah, you should taste them. It's edible. I want to taste one. Mm. How was it? Mm. Flaky, buttercreamy? Flaky, buttercreamy. Can I eat the tea? You can, you can try. Not bad at all. Mmm, those are really good. Mm. Thanks you guys for watching, no to numbers. And thank you Mr. John Bain, Toto Biscuit, for being here. No problem at all. If you want anything else ruined, just give me a call. I will. Good at ring, that. ring, let's make cupcakes. It's probably best that I leave the art to somebody more capable than me. Uh, he did good. He you did can good. handle that. I'll handle the violence. I like that, he'll handle the violence, I'll do the decorating, it will be perfect. I will put his links down below, he has an awesome gaming channel, and he hosts the TGS podcast, which comes out every Wednesday, and also sponsors a pro gaming team. I'll put all of those links down below so you can go check it out. If you have any other suggestions for any other Nerdy Dummies, please let me know, leave me a comment down below, and I will do my best to make them happen. Okay, thanks you guys, bye bye.